Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, Ansel lab setup. Uh, today we are going to create two VMs, one will be Linux and one more will be Windows. Uh, I am going to use Windows 2012 uh, Windows Server. I will just show you how to set up and all those things and uh, how to set up local connection and uh, both. And I, here I am using Oracle VirtualBox. And um, I have already downloaded uh, Windows uh, ISOs and I have created VMs. If you don't know how to create VMs, and uh, you can simply go to YouTube and find out how to create VMs in VirtualBox. Here, I'll show you how to do the settings in uh, the existing VM setup. <coughs> so here I have two machines. One is Ubuntu. Now I am just starting this. There is another Windows VM also. Here, I am using Windows Server 2012 uh, evaluation version. You can use this for uh, 180 days, I think. I think that's more than enough to practice Ansible videos, Ansible playbooks. Here, I'll uh, show you the another uh, Windows 2012 also. I'm just starting that also. It's getting started. Now, I'll just show you the settings from this virtual box uh, VM. I'll tell you how to set up this virtual network adapters. Um, here I have a uh, Windows VM. Um, now, I'm just going to Ubuntu VM. <coughs> show VM kind of. Now, I'm just going to what network settings. Search for network, the network connections will come. Here we have two connections wired connection 1 and wired connection 2. Wired connection 1 will be DHCP connection, and one more will be here. This is not a uh, man uh, DHCP, this is manual configured thing. I will show you where this uh, these two network adapters comes from. Go to settings. And here we can see network. Here there is a two adapters have been enabled. One is NAT, one more is host only adapter. So the NAT will be the DHCP uh, settings which I have shown you earlier. The second one is uh, host only adapter. If you are not able to see this drop down value, go to virtual box and uh, Go to virtual box and go to file preferences. Now you'll be able to see network and click on that add button host only section. Okay, click add. You have one more adapter, and um, you know, uh, after that, you can configure that edit option. Click it, and you can configure all these values here. Here, like uh, the DHCP settings, what is the um, IP settings and everything. You can use my same settings also, that is not a problem. Now, I have selected IP version 4 and IP values. You can use the same IP range also, that is not a problem. Now, we are going to Ubuntu machine, then settings. Network, you can see the first one is NAT, second one is host only adapter. That's it. <coughs> Let me open the settings which I have already shown you. I'll open this network. Here you can see two wired network, wide network one and wide network two. Then host only adapter should have IP range, whatever you are mentioning there. The default route which you can see the 2.1 IP is like the network IP. That's it. Now the same settings we have to go and configure for Windows Server also. Here Windows Server, Open and Network Sharing Center. Here there is two network. You can configure each of them. 
I think most of you guys familiar with Windows Network Connection configuration. Now, properties and select IPv4. And here you can set all those IP settings. So for this Windows machine, I have given the IP 2.30. Okay, close it, close it, close it. So the remaining NAT would be automatically the IP could have been set. Now we have to check the connectivity between these two VM. Now I am just trying to open 2.10, which is my Ubuntu VM. Yeah, now we are able to receive a ping. <coughs> now we have to check the connectivity with our host machine. For that, just go to terminal and put ifconfig, find the IP. Here I am able to see my IP is 0 0.104. Now I am trying to ping this IP from my Ubuntu box. Sorry, Windows box. Here, 0 0.104. Yeah, we are able to get it. This uh, connection is going through from host only adapter. Now we can get into Ubuntu machine and check the connectivity there also. Here, Ubuntu go to terminal and ping the IP of host machine as well as our Windows machine. Now ping 192.168.2.30 which is my windows machine i am not able to get a ping what is the problem we have to do some change in windows machine let's check the host we are able to receive a ping okay the thing is we are not able to, not able to connect to our windows box so let's see what is the problem there So that is the one problem we have to solve, let it be aside. Now I am getting into my post and trying to open Ubuntu box and Windows box. From here also I am not able to reach Windows. <coughs> so that should be some problem in Windows box. So we have to do some settings change. Go to Windows and go to Network and Sharing Center. Network and sharing center. Here we have to change the sharing settings. Now we are going into properties of that particular network card. Okay, properties. So I think uh, we are looking in the wrong place. Yeah, here this is the correct place. Turn on network discovery. If we enable this, then only the machines in the same network can identify this particular VM. Save settings. Now we should check the connectivity from other two VMs, which means uh, one is one win from Ubuntu as well as from our host machine also. Now let's get into host. Let's check 2.30 from my host machine. Now we are able to get a ping we have to get into Ubuntu also. Try to open 2.30. 2.30, yeah, we are able to see open. So we have the full connectivity of internet as well as our host with our host also. So that's it. That's it for this Ansible lab setup. And from next video, I'll explain you how to install Ansible and uh, uh, Ansible core installation setup. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to follow me with the future uploads. Thank you. Thank you so much.